Hey, we are back again to um, talking about decimals and fractions, and here we go. Let's look at some comparisons. Remember how I was talking earlier up here about how we could call this um, 10, at, this is, we, we view this as 10 out of 100, and that we can also look at this as one tenth as well. well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Notice we have one out of ten, so our decimal number is one tenth, or we can look at this, it's been cut up into more pieces. We can, this is also ten hundredths. Do you see what I'm saying? When you look at these, you can see clearly that these are equal. Now, let me show you. Let's write a fr the fraction for this number because some, I don't want you to be confused by, by um, tenths and hundredths. We have two tenths. And I'm just going to write this in a fraction form so we can un see it better. Two tenths. What do we have over here? We have two out of a hundred. And this is how we write this. Fraction form, we write it two out of a hundred. Now you can see right here that our denominator is totally different. They are not the same. The numerators are the same, but the denominator, there are more parts in, the, in this. And we can say to ourselves, wait a minute. Um, this is how we write it as a fraction. We put our decimal number, and then we say 0 and 2. This is our tenth. So that is how we know that this is two hundredths. And we can clearly see that this is the larger amount. So two tenths is lar greater than two hundredths. Let's arrange these number decimal numbers. First off, which is going to be the from the least? Definitely, it is going to be two hundredths. Our next one is going to be um, one-tenth. And our final greatest number is going to be two-tenths. Now we're moving on. More on fractions. This is where it gets really, really, really fun. Um, let's see. We're going to pass through lesson, let's see, I'm looking. We are going to pass through 28 through 32, and we're going to jump in to, let's see, yep, we're going to jump into 33. Okay, when you see a decimal point, this represents the tenths place. This represents our hundredths place. So, um, when it's in the tenths place, this is how it looks as a fraction. But if we have these two digits, it goes 12 into the hundredths place. Let's do some reading. As a class, I want you to read this with me. I'm to the point now that I can't even say, I, it has to be, I can't even, I have to say everything correctly. This is 75 hundredths. And look over here. This is, we have our tenths place. I'm just going to make a note. Tenths and our hundredths. And so we go for the furthest one over. This is 75 hundredths. We have seven tenths and seven hundredths. And now we have seven hundred 
seven hundredths. In this situation, you can see that we have three tenths, and this is also three tenths. Finally, in 36, we have two tenths, and this is how we say it, two tenths. Um, let's read this. A decimal number greater than one has one or more digits other than zero to the left of the decimal, such as 12 and 25 hundredths. To name 12 and 25 hundredths, we mentally split it at the decimal point, and we first name the whole number, then we say and, and then we say the fraction. So in this situ situation, we say 25, and we know that because of this place value, we go to hundredths, not to be confused with hundreds, hundredths. Now, let's use words to write each of these numbers on your paper. We're going to say 10, and I'm, I'm abbreviating because I'm losing space, 75, and I'm going to write this hundredths. I'll blow this up here so it's a little easier for me to write. Eh, maybe not. Let's see. Um, our next one is 12. We say 12. And let's see, I'm going to erase that. I'm going to write this out because I have a little more room. I'm going to write this 12. And that shows where my decimal point is, and five, and I know where, where it's at. It's in the tenths column. Our next one is six, and 42, oh guys, I'm gonna run out, two, hundredths. I know you have more room. And finally, 10. And remember that's our indicates our decimal. One tenth. Now use digits to write each of these decimal numbers. Okay, I, this is something we can do. One and three tenths. So I say one and three tenths. Two, for my whole number, and twenty five hundredths. Three and twelve hundredths. Four and five tenths. Now, um, another interesting thing that you'll see is when we're doing um, time that it's broken up into second. The when we're seeing five and five and five point five seconds that they start the stopwatch stops and everything is divided into decimal numbers, which is pretty cool. Um, our final thing, let's see, let me keep going. We are going to pause here. I would like you to fill out the last part of our investigation. I'd like you to do, let's see. Actually, I think we're all finished. So I'd like you to remember what you have, and we have a great day. Take care.